helped me the most, it might be just the fact that I can change my thoughts, feelings, and emotions. That, uh, you know, as a Christian, I know, sort of knew that already, that I could change, um, you know, that we can, we're, we ought to be changing and growing to be more like Christ, but, but that on a practical level, I don't have to stay a negative person. I don't have to stay pessimistic, Jeremy. I don't have to, you know, be, be the person who's not known for joy. I can become more joyful. I can become more confident. Um, that, that in very real, specific ways, um, and not even necessarily in a long amount of time, um, I can grow in these ways. I think that's one of the most important things for me. Mm. At least that I'm thinking of right now. Awesome. Cool. And so would you recommend to others, why would you recommend Lionheart Leadership in working with me to others? This is very candid. <laughs> um, I think why I recommend Lionheart Leadership is because uh, working with Oren, just knowing that he's someone who's a friend, not just a friend though, that he's a Christian, that he takes seriously uh, God's word and truths and principles, um, but also that um, he takes time to listen. And I, I noticed that in our uh, meetings together, that he takes time for me to process things and, and give me thoughts and that he wants to, he encourages me in very real ways, but he also wants to see me succeed. Like he's not just after a completion of a course or the, um, you know, getting someone through a program, but he's, um, he seems like he really wants to see people like myself more joyful and more being the people that they were. Um, he wants people to, to be, I think, what, what God created them to be. He wants them to thrive uh, in life. And I think Lionheart leadership is something that it's not just rooted in a good, I would say, a biblical foundation, but uh, I don't know. I have to think about this a little bit more. <laughs> But I, but I would recommend. I would recommend it because I think it has a lot of. I think also some of the value of this is that uh, Orin understands the the reservations, the hesitations people can have in believing that they can change, that their past doesn't define their future, or that their emotions um, don't have to stay. In, in a negative pattern, but that he, he his own experience, I, I think, in, in his personal life and in ministry and in other areas uh, helps to, I just think it helps, uh, helps him understand where other people are coming from, why other people may be resisting and where they may be struggling to uh, actually believe that these changes are possible or that this kind of growth um, is possible, and I think he's good at walking people through that, um, not just because of the professional training that he's received, but because of his own life's journey as well. Hmm. I so anyway, 